And that breaking news here at 756. Crews are battling a large apartment fire in West Dallas. Let's kick off our coverage with Gabriela Garza, who's joining us live near 88th and Maple. That is north of National Avenue. And Gabby, a heavy response there. And you're seeing it all play out right now. That's right, Diana. We have multiple different departments out here. West Alice, Milwaukee, Greenfield as well as others. Now, if you take a look, this is what we're seeing from our vantage point. Now, we've seen that the fire departments here are attacking this fire at multiple different sides, trying to focus much, much of their resources on the roof there. Now, probably five minutes ago, that roof was still on fire. It appears that there is fire on the other side of this apartment here. Now, we were talking to some neighbors that are outside this morning. They say this is a, they believe to be a six unit apartment building right now. The fire is still at Active. There are more crews that keep showing up as they continue to fight this fire out here this morning. Uh, again, we are going to try to get some more information as the morning goes on to find out if everybody was able to get out safely. Again, if you take a look over at the fire here, we can bring the camera this way and take a look at some of what's happening here. They have one of those towers again like I said they're focusing a lot of that effort right there on the roof we can see some flames are starting to pick back up which is why they're focusing again their resources in that area again this is a six unit apartment building is what neighbors believe this to be we are going to be trying to get some more information with the fire departments that are on scene here I know West Alice is taking charge of this so we will be sure to bring you more information as the morning continues and as we learn more Diana and some incredible live images from the ground and from uh, up on above in News Chopper 12. Gabby, really quickly before we let you go, you mentioned that you spoke to some residents, some neighbors in the area. By any chance, have you talked to anyone who lives in that building that's being impacted right now? So it appears that they are just off to the side here. They were actually speaking to, I believe, either the fire department or police officers trying to get some of that information. It looks like they were able to get some of their belongings out of their home with them, but that's about a tote and a backpack that I've seen with what it appears to be a young family. So again, we are going to try to see if we can speak to some people who are here to find out more information to find out that everybody was able to get out of that apartment building safely. All right, Gabby, well, we'll leave it to it to talk to some residents who are impacted by this fire. But let's go ahead and send it up to Matt Slemmy in News Chopper 12. Matt, we are getting this incredible view from above. You can, from Gabby's picture, you can almost see through the roof of the house, of the apartment. Yeah, about a quarter of the uh, roof is already gone, consumed by the flames. You can see they just got another uh, tower extended on the other side of the building. They're getting it hooked up right now so they can start uh, fighting it from the other side. Uh, you can see they are still active with the blaze. It's uh, a lot of the roof, a good, again, a good quarter of it has already been uh, consumed. They continue to put out the uh, flare-ups that continue. I see every once in a while a little flame will pop up. Looks like they had a ladder up to one of the back windows there. You can see that. Uh, not sure if they had to get somebody out through that ladder, but that would be one of the apartments that was on fire. As you can see, it looks like it was on one of the second stories where the uh, fire was concentrated. At this point, though, it looks like they just shut the water off for a moment here. I'm not sure exactly why they're doing that, but uh, we'll continue to monitor this situation. They do have crews on the ground with hoses as well as the two water towers that are up. All right, Matt, and really quickly, just to get a, a better perspective of what you're looking at here, Gabby had mentioned that some of the residents might be talking to fire officials right now. Do you see that? And do you know if any roads are closed at this hour? All right, so 88th Street is shut down near Maple, as you can see. That's where they're staging right now. They got a lot of uh, fire officials here. And you can see there is uh, all of the equipment basically set up on 88th Street. It looks like that uh, new water tower that just came up is actually on Maple, so Maple is probably now closed as well. So those are the areas you're going to want to avoid. Uh, at as far as uh, people on the ground, it's tough to see through the trees, uh, but I can tell you that I do see a handful of neighbors that are out watching the firefighting efforts. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people alarmed from this large apartment fire, this large response here at 8 o'clock this morning. And of course, we will continue getting updates on injuries. If any, we're asking questions right now. The newsroom is working hard to get that all figured out. And of course, we will work on asking on the cause of the fire. But this is all playing out in West Ellis right now, right near 80th and Ma 88th and Maple. And um, as we can see, there heavy damage to that roof of that apartment building. More to come throughout the rest of the morning. Matt Slemmy reporting live for us.